Good day and welcome to this video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to draw the above mechanism loci problem. That is, we'll be drawing the solution of the above mechanism loci problem. So the question says, the crank OA in the figure rotates clockwise at constant speed and during one revolution, E moves from C to D and back to C at constant speed. If the initial position of the mechanism is as shown in the figure, draw the locus of B during one revolution of OA. OA is 25 mm and AB and BC are 75 mm. We'll start the question by replicating the figure above. The distance between this line and this line, according to the figure above, is 62 mm, and the distance between this line and this line is 50 mm. So, next, I will draw a cycle of radius 25 mm here. This is because the question says AO is 25 mm. So next, I will divide the cycle into 12 equal parts. I will do so using my 60 degree set square. So this point here is O. So there's a line here from this line. According to the question, the line is 13 millimeter from this line here. So I will draw it. So this point here is D, this point here is C, so I will label this point here A, I will make AO both. After that, I will adjust my compass, so I will adjust the compass to radius of 75 millimeter. This is because the question says AP and BC are 75 millimeter. So I will adjust my compass to radius of 75 millimeter now. Then I will place the compass on point A and cut an arc this way. After that, I will place the compass on point C. Then I will cut arc to intersect this arc. The point where the arc intersects, I will label that point B. I will draw lines joining point A and point B and also point B and point C. So I will indicate the direction of rotation of A.
and also the direction of movement of C. So I will, I will number this cycle, that is the point where lines of intersection intersect the cycle. This point here will be called A1, here A2, A3 here. So I will continue in that manner. So after numbering the points, so I will also, I will divide this line, that is DC line, DC. I will, I will divide the line into six equal parts. So I will do so following the principle of line division. So now I will mark points of equal interval on my inclined line. So since I'm dividing the line into six equal parts, I will mark off six points. Next, I will position my set square this way. That is my ruler, my set square this way. So the set square should be positioned in such a way that this side of the set square pass through the last point you marked and your point D. And also you support the set square with your ruler this way. Then you have to draw a line. So after drawing the line, you have to slide your set square along your ruler without moving the ruler this way to the next point you marked. Then draw another line then to the next point. So you continue to the last point. So, so we are done dividing the line. So I will number the points where lines of division intersect line DC. So this point here will be C1. Here is C2. Here is C3. C4, C5. So this point D here can be C6. The reason why I divide the line into six equal parts is because I divide my cycle into 12 equal parts. So six is half of 12. Now, using a radius of 75 millimeter, that is the same radius I used to draw line line that is radius of 75 millimeter then i will place the compass on point a that is our needle on point a then i will cut arc this way then i will also place the compass on point c1 then i will cut arc to intersect the previous arc the point where the axe intersect, I will call that point B1. So I will repeat, I will repeat the same procedure for point A2 down to point A11. So I'll call this point B3. 
So I'll place the compass on point A4 this time around. Then I will cut an arc. Then I will also place the compass on point C4. Then I will cut arc to intersect the previous arc. So I will call this point B4. So now on point A5. So now I'll place the compass on point A7. Then I will cut arc. After that, this time around, I will place the compass on point C5. That is, I'm going towards the right direction this time around. So the point where the arcs intersect, I will label the point B7. Then next on A8. Then on C4. So I will call this point B8. So now on point A9. So now on point A10. So we are done cutting axe. So now we will draw a line joining the A point to the B point and a line joining the B point to the C point. So these lines should be fenced. So we are drawing a line joining A1 to B1 and a line joining B1 to C1. Now it is time to draw the curves. I will draw the curves passing through the B point. That is point B1, point B down to point B11. So I will be drawing the curves using my fence curve. We are done with the curve, so now I will indicate the dimension.
So we are done with this video. Also, share this video with your colleagues. Your colleagues will appreciate you if you share the video with them. Thank you.